Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got a very clever Melodyne trick for you here in Pro Tools. Community member David Zimmerman's put us onto this, and what this trick does is it recreates what Studio One users have with Melodyne. That being, when you've got an audio clip in Studio One, you in essence only need to click the audio clip, and all of that gets transferred into Melodyne in a blink of an eye. That's the ARA technology. Now, Pro Tools users, we don't have that luxury, so this trick, and I'm going to coin the phrase, the Pro Tools Melodyne ARA hack gets around this rather quite well. First, let me show you what we've had to do before, that being transferring things in in real time. So you would click this button here for the vocals. We'd hit play. She was stressed out on a long white table. And then we'd go and make a cup she of coffee, so come back three minutes later, hey, and it's all so imported, as you see. Now, what we're going to do is, again, set this to transfer mode. We're going to right click at the top here, commit up to this insert. Let's go for track. Make sure at the bottom here, source tracks, we click do nothing and click OK. And as you can see, it's made a copy underneath. There we go. It's got the algorithm wrong. Let's just hit that to melodic, rescan. And there's our vocal. Now we can get rid of this duplicate track as we don't need that and hit play. She was stressed out on a long white table. Job done. She was. Now, a couple of things to mention. First of all, I tried to get this to work with Melodyne 4.0 in Pro Tools 12.4 and Pro Tools 12.7, as I've got both versions. Didn't work. Kept crashing. As soon as I updated this to Melodyne 4.1, free update for Melodyne 4 users, it works. So that's a must. I have tested this with doing a few tracks at once, and it has worked. I had one crash. Now, something else that David mentioned to us is that this isn't really the most stable way of doing things. He recommends that before we do any of this capturing, so let's just turn this off, do it from scratch, load up Melodyne. He recommends that we go to the start and just transfer in a very small amount of nothing. So transfer, stop transfer, and then hit this into transfer, right click and commit up to this insert. Now we can do this with sections of a clip, so let's just go for that first section there. Make sure that we've got transfer on. Right click, commit to this insert. Let's go for edit selection on track. Again, make sure that's on do nothing. Click OK. And there you have it. And again, this duplicate track down here, the second track, we can just hide and make inactive as it's just a, just a copy. But the Melodyne information is on the first track that we've done all this on. Just double check. I went down. Perfect. What a time fun. saver. Brilliant, brilliant trick. Anyway, have a go for yourself, guys, and let us know your thoughts on this amazing Melodyne Pro Tools ARA hack in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll catch you next time.